Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Spirit Fair. As where we last left off, we got Alice, the little hedgehog, in our town, and we also got a sheep who is not happy with us right now. I'll show you Alice just so you guys can see her and remember. There she is. She's a little hedgehog. <laughs> So, now we're going to try and get that art collector guy. I'm so hungry. I know I've been asking her a lot lately. I've got a big appetite. It goes well with my love of food. But you know what would I go for? A bucket of fried chicken! That would bring me back. Because the best kind of food comes in buckets. Cooking sounds hard sometimes. In this case, it's pretty easy. Okay, fried chicken. Oh! That's why we can't get the sheep in the corral, because I was a little shit and I brought the other one back too! Oh, okay. Okay, okay, so I need to build a second corral. What does that take? Oak plank and copper ingot. I can do that. Oh, we could put them right next to her house! Yes! There we go, the two sheep are together. Oh, and you suddenly have fur again. Shear you. Look at their face. It's okay, bud. Here, you can have some corn in return. Oh, she looks so cute. She's like curled up in a little ball. Alice is my favorite. Alright, first things first. Let's try and do this again. And let's see if we can feed Alice anything. Maybe she would like some tea? She seems like the type to like tea. Good morning! Good morning, my cutie pie. Oh, you're so cute! Where are you going? Okay, hey. Oh, little one! My stomach is turning! Would you have anything to eat? Well, what do you like? Would you like... Um... Some... Tea? Oh, I'm sorry, dearie. I can't have such a strong stimulant. Those are disorienting. I won't be able to sleep for days if I ingest this. Sorry, Stella. I won't accept it. Oh, understandable. How about some strawberries? Oh, thank you. I was getting quite hungry. Oh, thank you. Do you want a hug? Oh! Oh, that was very nice. Thank you. Yes! I can hug the hedgehog. Oh! Hello? What the? Oh, hello there, General Kenobi. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? Of course, so many children are bound to leave you exhausted. Maybe we could play with them for a bit. Let you rest? What do you think, Stella? Of course! Oh, wonderful! We'll have so much fun. I used to play this game with my grandchildren all the time. Just catch them and bring them back to their mommy. Oh! Nope, come here. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, you can only take one at a time. One. Haha. -ha. Two. That one just walked right into me. Oh, you get nebula fiber for doing it. Yes. Awesome. Come here. You come here too. You're the last one. There we go. Oh, what's going on? Oh, oh no. Good morning, everyone. We did it. We got nebula fiber. All right, what, what, what ones needed those again? You know what? We'll we'll go to. There were two. Let's go to the other one as well. What do we need? Okay, nebula thread for that. Looks like that's the only thing that needs nebula thread right now. Yeah, so let's make an orchard. Okay, first we can make an orchard. Can that fit anywhere is the question. No, it cannot. We need to stop at Albert's. Alright. Okay, spirit flower. Oh, it needed what Gwen had. All right, and then iron and wool fabric. Dude, you're pulling my chain. Oh, but oh, that's for something else. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
I could probably make that. Boom! Nice. Okay. Makes the boat go 20% faster, dang. We only need wool fabric for that? Oh, but we don't have enough money. We don't have enough money for this either. I'll be back. Okay, now we can make the orchard. So, let's put it right... Right... Here? Or can we bring it down here? Oh, yeah. Oh, Stella! You might have noticed that there is a large empty nook in my house. You know what? We should add a wardrobe. Yes, a fancy dresser for your clothes. You don't seem to have anywhere to store your own outfits. This would be a perfect opportunity. What do you think? Oh, she wanted us to make a wardrobe for us? So oh, what a sweetheart. Okay. Oh, we have enough for the wardrobe, actually. Nice. So we're just missing aluminum, but I don't know how to get aluminum. Wondrous, she says. Wondrous! You're spoiling me, Stella. What an incredible piece of furniture. It livens the room so much. Yes, much cozier now. And filled to the brim with clothes and accessories, too. You don't know how happy that makes me. Well, what are you waiting for? Jump into these- jump out of these old dirty clothes. Pick something with some jazz to it. Oh, we can change? Oh! Oh, and we can change them, too? Oh. oh, that's so cool. Uh, an arctic blouse. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Let's keep the yellow blouse. Yes. I have new pants. Interesting choice. Well, that certainly is a modern choice. Very youthful. But what about something more, um, classic? I think there was a nice periwinkle outfit in the bottom drawer. Try it on. Periwinkle outfit? Oh. Oh, purple! Oh, whoa! Fantastic! Oh, sweetie, isn't that so much better? Wow, you look so adorable, I could just eat you up! Oh, <laughs> Stella doesn't look happy. And there's plenty more for you to try on. Don't be shy, come over any time. I always love doing these little fashion shows with my granddaughter. Oh, what is it? You found an envelope on the bottom of the drawer? How peculiar! Well, don't make me wait, open it! What is it you say? Pictures and letters? Oh, those are mine! How did they ever end up here? What a mystery! Look, this is my husband's handwriting. Oh, it's messy, all right. He never was a delicate man, but quite handy and so very loving. Oh. oh, and would you look at that, my backyard. See all those trees? Sweet Eugene planted a tree for every one of our children. And then our for our grandchildren. Oh. We grew apples, cherries, pears. I remember my granddaughter playing in her mother's apple tree. Such sweet memories. Oh, oh look at me, rambling again. Go ahead, sweetheart. I won't hold you back any longer. <laughs> Give me a hug. Mm. I want to hug you. You're amazing. I love you. Oh, that was very nice. Thank you. Oh, we have a grown orange cat. Hmm, what do you guys think? Keep the purple? I'll keep it for now. All right, what can we do? Oh yeah, oh, what's up? Oh, how about a little snack? I'm feeling quite hungry, of course. I think I made some of your favorite. I did. Oh, okay. I guess your favorite would get boring if you ate it too much. Um, tea? There we go. She ate her tea with a fork. Oh, did you see I made the orchard? Exactly as I remember it. I haven't given much thought of it before now, but... Stella, this orchard, it looks almost exactly like the one my husband built. Have you seen all these fine details? Yes, he was quite the woodworker. At least until his hands gave up on him. We planted our first apple tree along with the birth of our first daughter. You should plant a tree for yourself. Of course, it'll take some time before it can bear fruit. But once it's grown, it'll make you feel so proud, accompanies you your whole life. Oh, listen to me rambling again. I'll get out of your things now. Oh no, keep rambling. I love listening to you, Alice. Apple? Cherry. There we go. Alrighty, dighty. Alright, her house is nice. Okay, what else can we do? Let's take care of that walrus lady. Alright, it was... Wait, what was it? Negative 150, 150. Okay. 150, 150. And this time we can break through the ice. 
glass ash plank ectoplasm. Oh! Oh, okay, that's breaking through the ice. All right, we did it! We did it! We got through the ice, but at what cost? Jesus. We're here. What is this place? Susan's Museum. Hmm. Is this where we'll find the walrus lady? Oh, what was that noise? Oh, I can't. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Hello, I am here to confront you. Mm. Oh, great. Just fantastic. The spirit fairer is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On this godforsaken rock in the middle of the ocean. She came all the way over here. Mm -hmm. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below mm -hmm. with its broken ladder. She saw all that and thought, yes, how inviting. Mm -hmm. Surely I am welcomed here. Mm -hmm. Well, you found me. No use running from it anymore. Let me run the old tape for you. Him. Mm. Spiritfarer, whose name I don't know nor care to know, I am the Collector, otherwise known as Susan. The gods and all their materialistic mm. arrogance have played a cruel trick on me. You see, I am the Collector not by choice, but by duty. Mm. Mm. Through your ceaseless plunder of this world's very finite wonders, you will no doubt come to a stockpile of collection of junk to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unconscionable behavior with, well, more junk. Mm. What mm. irony, is it not? My predecessors used to ask for the accumulated bundles as payment, to know who knows what with. But the job description says nothing about that, and I certainly have no interest in your filth. Mm. So when the time comes, show me what monstrous assortments you managed to put together, grab your meaningless reward, and leave, mm. quickly, and pick up after yourself. Well, you're pleasant, aren't you? I have a thing for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, let's see what you've got now. Looks like some kind of... Mm. Why? Mm. Why in the name of everything that is holy and beautiful do you carry this horrible thing around? It is not only offensive to my eyes, it hurts the very essence of my soul. Mm. But, mm. wait, I recognize this. Oh. Oh no. Mm. I should have known from the very beginning. It's that man, isn't it, who sent you? That shallow, materialistic, superficial fraud of an intellectual. Oh, funny, he said the same thing about you. He sent you here, didn't he? What a crooked, treacherous weasel. He's a mad about losing his precious little wood print, isn't he? Mm. Well, mm. now he's never going to see it again, I can guarantee it. Perhaps he can learn a thing or two about I don't know how to say that. And as for this preposterously silly collection, your reward is... Let's see. Mm. No, this can't be. No, the fates can't be so cruel. Well, all right. Mm. Just take it. Take the bloody wood print. Go back to the blattering fool. Just... Just take anything you want and get out of my sight. Oh, okay. Can we give you her anything else? Oh. Oh. Broken shiny rocks. What a joy. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Listen, don't let me keep you, Spiritfarer. You have two jobs now, finding gems and spirits. By the way, who even came up with such a ridiculously sounding name as Spiritfarer? Sounds terrible and doesn't roll off the tongue like my name. Susan. Susan. Susan the Collector. You're just wonderful to talk to, aren't you? Okay. We got our next reward. We'll claim the next reward. How exciting! We started collecting a new type of junk. This time it's fish. They smell bad and they're all terribly ugly, yet you can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. They are slippery little bastards. You watch me, I will prove you wrong, specifically because I don't like you. Did I ever catch the sockeye salmon? Oh, I guess I didn't. I thought I did. Oh well. Okay. Oh wow! Halfway there, finder of bright rocks. You must really love the way they look. You are amused by such mortal things. It figures. Well, I'm not keeping you. Go. No, I'm, I'm, I still have things to give you. Ah. Oh, okay, we don't have enough for that. An Easter outfit? Okay. Alright, bye. It was not a pleasure to talk to you. <laughs> Alright, can we go... Ooh! Whoa! Oh, what's that? It's on the way to the bus stop. Nord Sea Pier. Let's go. Oh, here we are. 
North Sea Pier. Oh, locked. Oh, madam! You've got a that face! Larry Salzberg knows faces, and yours could be on a poster. One on a billboard. You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice. And I hate it. But we can fix that in post. We'll get one of the girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. What? You're not an actress? You don't do vaudeville? You've never seen, been with a Zeke field? Nothing for those French shepherdesses or whatever it's called? Mm -hmm. That's impossible. You would have been perfect. But that's true. Your pure, undiscovered talent. Mm -hmm. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It will be called something like Visions of Perfection. A thriller. Mm -hmm. Murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Mm -hmm. Something to make the town talk. Talking about my young new star, it will be a box office smash. Mm -hmm. Can't you see it? I uh, sure. I knew I could count on just walking the streets. You'll be a star in no time, or my name isn't Larry Salzberg. Now we need to find you a co-star. Mm. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new beau. Somewhere warm. It doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture is just as I've thought about in the last five minutes. Mm. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. This town is drier than my shirts on a clothesline in the summer. Mm. Let's see. Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Mm. Judy is off somewhere magical. We'll need to find someone with gumption. Gravitas. There's this veteran, Catherine, who could work. Mm. Apparently she's been talking in nature recently. Somewhere in on obscure canopy, I believe. Wait one second. Mm. I just had another idea. We could also go to demure, naive route. Someone like Ingrid. Mm. She could also do justice to our new movie. She'd bought a new place in the old central district. You could go meet her there. Mm. Ah! So many possibilities. Casting movies, what a rush. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll leave it to your capable hands. Find us a match. Mm -hmm. Someone that you think will pop on the screen. Oh, that's a quest? Is it in shenanigans? It should be. Yep. Okay, Ingrid or Catherine? Me, a movie star? What an absurd idea. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out later. Oh, locked. Hmm. Hello? Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, oh, what is it? I'm the big fish man or something like that. He's so loud. And it's not just the screaming. It's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. I came with the early bird swimmer. That's true. Ooh, antique bust. Okay. I'm the big fish man. Oh, what's this? Oh, yes. We're gonna make money. No. I got up once. Come on. Come on, Yabby, you can do this. Ah. Oh, okay. Ooh. get to the top top. Can we get to the top top? Come on. Come on. Yes! All locked. What's that? What is going on with this? Am I supposed to be up here? I can't do anything, so probably not. Let's leave. What's up? Incredible! Oh, the trees grew! This tree, Stella, it grew so quickly! I'm sure the love you gave it helped it tremendously. The laws of this world would allow it. Well, I'm glad the tree is fully grown now. And you'll be able to build some great memories here. Oh. 
Stella, I've been doing some thinking. All my life, I've had to take care of others. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of the children. They're a blessing, really, but I've never had any time for... excitement. Adventure! I thought, if it's not too much of a hassle, of course, and since we're traveling all over all the time, well, maybe you could come on a little trip with me? Just you and me. It'll be fun, I promise. How about that little hamlet? Nordweiler, was it? From what I heard, it sounds just like my Swedish romance novels. Oh, how could I devour these? What, you're also a fan? I knew you were a woman of culture. Anyway, if we're ever around these parts, I think we could have loads of fun. Of course! I'll do anything for you, Alice. Oh, I can't water these. I will always have time for you, Alice. We will definitely go on a trip together. Just you and me. Alice is like a grandma, and I really like that. It's like super sweet. It's like I could imagine like her giving you a blanket, hot cocoa, making you some cookies. <laughs> I love that nickname, Honeybee. Where is that guy? There you are! Um. Back again, are you? And would you look at that? You've got the piece! Oh, Stella, this is very good. Oh. You've managed to wrestle the woodprint from the cold hands of the hag. What ingenuity! What spunk! Yes, you'll prove to be an in immense asset to all my endeavors. Uh -huh. Or, shall I say, our endeavors. Well, it is decided then. Uh -huh. There is no pursuit left for me on this island. Therefore, I will join your little expedition. As a passenger, mind you, not as a crew member. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, such a boat might be the perfect gallery. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Awesome! I'll meet you there, I gotta buy stuff. Sorry. Oh yeah, this thing. We never did this. Okay, so we can acquire the glide ability. Let's do it. to glide. Oh! Oh, I bet we can use that to float around in the in the little air thingies now. Can we do that maybe? Ooh. Got some moves. I came up here to see everything from up high. Everyone is so small. Ooh. I feel big and strong. If you run into my mom, just don't tell her I'm here. I want this feeling to last a little bit longer. Got you. Ooh. A marvelous venue. Uh -huh. All right, all right. I know I can do it. Sure, it might tingle a bit, but... Well, what if it hurts? Uh -huh. Oh, you're here. Good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Uh -huh. Okay, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyways? did it, and I didn't even faint. It actually feels alright. Uh -huh. Who knew? Well then, let's get started. What? Oh, but of course, pardon my enthusiasm. Uh -huh. I forgot to introduce myself. How forgetful and impolite. I'm Gustav. Uh -huh. And I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've met each other already. Anyhow, I'm glad our paths have crossed on this island. And I know that together we will accomplish great things. Uh -huh. This world is part of a wonderful and disgusting, and so is art. 
Truly, Stella, the gods have struck us with a grand inspiration. It is our solemn duty to evaluate souls and with beauty and awe. Uh -huh. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put together the greatest exhibit of my life. And you will help me. Oh, how grandois will it be? Ah, but first, payment. Uh -huh. I've been called a lot of things, but never a cheapskate. Oh, thank you. All right, we have four spirits now. Oh, he's so graceful when he walks. Okay. We're going to end it here for today. I think it's a perfect place to end with Gustav finally on our ship and Alice as well. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves and I will see you next time.